Slipknot's currently out on the road celebrating their 25th anniversary of this legendary metal band. And if you haven't had the chance to see them play on this tour, I strongly recommend it. They've got the old school jumpsuit, masks. The set list is crazy. And they're firing on all cylinders right now for sure, especially with Eloy just taking things to the next level. And in the latest issue of Metal Hammer, Clown is opening up about the band's iconic legacy. And also he had some really heartfelt words to share about Paul and Joey, who of course he dearly misses as well as the fans around the world. And he was very, very candid in this interview about the band's past and where they are today. Here's everything he had to say in that new Metal Hammer interview. In the new issue of Metal Hammer, Clown looked back on Slipknot's iconic legacy as they're currently out on the road celebrating 25 years. He spoke about the shifting dynamic internally in the band. With the loss of beloved members like Paul, Joey, Chris, and Craig, it was a special time in the early days of Slipknot where the legendary band had captured lightning in a bottle, winning over fans day after day on OzFest, and making a name for themselves around the world with their brutal in-your-face performances. But times have changed, and while the band is still on top of the world, things internally are a lot different. He told the interviewer, Brother, the band will never be like that again. I can't tell you how close we were then. We're not that close anymore. People are gone. Craig's out. Chris is out. Joey's out. Paul's out. The band is different. But back then, there was nine guys that wanted to be in the same place. And we made it work. And we wound up here. And here is wonderful. Clown also took a moment during the interview to speak on just how vital Paul and Joey were to Slipknot's legacy. He said, I'm doing these 25 year anniversary interviews and not a lot of human beings are asking me about them. You can't talk about any of this without talking about them. They're greatly missed. And every day that I go through this 25 year anniversary, I miss them more, but also appreciate love and just acknowledge who they were to all this. It's very important for me to say that because these are two gentlemen that should be talking to you and they can't. Joey and Paul, oh my God, they wrote this shit, man. Number one and number two. The path changed for us after they passed and we had to keep going and take a new path. But that doesn't mean that we don't know where we came from or ever forget what brought us here. I really liked this interview from Clown. I thought he was really candid in this. And, and, you know, sometimes he's a little bit different in these interviews, but this was really, really cool to hear him talk about, you know, how much Joey and Paul meant to him. But also, I think some people might take away from what he was saying, thinking that he's saying that Slipknot isn't in a good place now. And what I think he was really reflecting on was how close the band was, how tight-knit they were as they were starting out, them against the world, fighting, clawing for any sort of traction that they can get. And I'm sure he's really been reflecting on those early days of the band, those stories of them just in a gas station where Joey worked and trying to figure out how the band was going to develop their sound, their look, their image and everything. It was just something that you could never recreate. So as the band has traveled around the world as long as they have and they've just been around each other so much, not dissimilar to other bands where you hear like Metallica and stuff like that, where they may travel separately or they may not necessarily see each other before a few minutes before they take the stage. It's just as time goes on, you've, you've been around each other so much, you just might not spend as much time together. And it definitely doesn't mean that you don't like each other or anything like that. So I just thought this was a really cool interview. And again, I want to reiterate, if you haven't seen this 25th anniversary tour, those of you that have been, let me know what town you went to and what you thought of the show. I thought it was so badass getting to see them perform. So anyways, that's your latest update here from Rockfeed. If you're new here, be sure to subscribe with notifications on for the latest news and updates.